So as far as picking up your chickens go, they naturally are pretty scared creatures since a lot of things want to eat them. It's natural to be chicken and mean scared. So whenever you're trying to handle them, unless it's an emergency where you have to chase after and grab them, you really want to have very slow, gentle movements and take your time. And generally things are never such an emergency that you can't just be patient enough. If you're able to go down low and then also just kind of have your arms open and low and then sometimes gently corner them so they're not scared, but they just naturally happen to end up in an area where... All right, this is PJ. She is a barred rock. Once you're holding them, they'll usually be really peaceful, especially if they weren't totally scared while you're trying to catch them. When you've got your chickens, there are some people that do clip their wings. We don't happen to clip ours, but the more you handle them, the easier that will be. Another thing would be that sometimes when you have baby chicks in the first couple weeks, they can have something that's called pasting up. And that's basically when they're just a ball of fluff, they can have a little poo that sticks that then you need to make sure that you clean off right away with some warm water, sometimes a little bit of soap, and um, make sure that it doesn't get stuck there because there's only one hole for things to go out of. In the future, it also lets eggs out. So you want to make sure that that stays clear and open. When they're older, there are a variety of reasons why that might happen again. So sometimes if it's hot weather or they eat a lot of treats or they're just stressed out for some reason, they may have a runny or a poo. And because in the back they've got all this soft fluff, um, it can get stuck. So this would be an example of a chicken that naturally keeps her tail down more. And she's otherwise really healthy, like her comb and her waddle are bright red. She is over three years old and she started doing a hilarious two-part slight crow sound, which is really wild but she's definitely a lady. But because she keeps her tail down a lot and sleeps with it tucked down, she can sometimes get poo blocked up back here. So what we do is we just take her inside by the utility sink. We use a little hot water with a little bit of dish soap and we just gently work it off to make sure that there isn't any poop that builds up that attracts flies to lay eggs in or that could possibly affect their vent area in the back. So it's just a little chicken maintenance and not to worry, it's something that can happen to a variety of chickens, but just definitely be careful when they're little baby chicks. And then when they're older, it's an easy thing to just, usually two people helps, one to hold the chicken and keep her calm, and then the other one to just make sure that that stays clear. That'd probably be one of the most common health issues that can be pretty easily solved. So, but it's nice if you handle them, you can check on them and make sure their crop is doing well too. That would be another thing you could investigate as the crop is on their chest. And it'd be kind of similar to when you wake up in the morning, sometimes you feel really thin, like, wow, what happened overnight? I lost some weight. And then during the day, you eat a few meals, you get a little tired, and your stomach extends, and at the end of the day, it feels like you gained a lot of weight, and your body's gonna basically be processing it at night. So with the chicken, they've got their crop right in the front of their chest. So during the day, sometimes it'll really stick out and look very full and bulging on one side. But when they wake up in the morning, that food should have processed and their crop should be more flat again. So that's something to keep an eye on too. And sometimes if it gets a bit impacted and it seems like it's not moving through as, as it should, you can actually massage the chicken's crop and help that food pass through. Often it'll get talked about of holding them like a football or a rugby ball where you kind of tuck them under your arm. And some chickens will be more squirming around and kind of anxious. So in that case, you'd want to have them more on your side usually and tucked under. So you want to keep their wings together. But the more that you're around them, the more you handle them, the less that they'll be afraid of you and the more likely they'll be interested in hanging out. Yeah. There you go, sweets. Oh, you're back.